Louisa May Alcott. Born in 1832, she and her family moved all around Massachusetts. Though they struggled financially, Louisa would use her imagination to keep herself happy as she constantly wrote stories and plays for her and her three sisters. As she grew up, her writing took the local publishers by storm, and it was in 1868 that Little Women would be published. The book followed many of the real-life events of the Alcotts and Louisa's sisters through the lens of the main character, Joe March. It was a book that took everyone by surprise and has continued to be loved by readers today. There is a March sister that any girl can relate to. Over the years, it has been adapted into several movies. I was able to speak with Mrs. Jan Turnquist, the director of the Louisa May Alcott Museum at Orchard House in Concord, Massachusetts, to discuss the relevance of Miss Alcott today. To start out, she spoke of how Louisa still inspires so many others to write, even now. Oh, yes, we hear about it from, from just people who aren't famous, who just say, oh, I love to write, and, and Louisa was my role model for that. But also people like J.K. Rowling actually has credited Louisa as an influence. So you can go from somebody as famous as that to somebody you've never heard of who just loves to write but feels encouraged by Louisa. Ms. Turnquist also spoke about how Louisa provided for her family in times when the Alcotts had little to nothing. No matter how much the family struggled, their love for each other kept them going. Louisa had her career as a writer and she was also able to take care of her loved ones in a time when it wasn't as common for women to do so. She also took care of the family a lot at the same time, which speaks to a lot of women today, I think, who <laughs> they're, they're independent, they're strong, they have careers. And yet as soon as they walk through the door of the house, they throw the laundry in, start the machine, run up and press the Instapot to get dinner going. You know, they're trying to do everything. And Louisa was like that, but with no Instapot and no washing machine. Throughout her life, Louisa never had any intention to marry. The main character of Little Women, Joe, also has no desire to marry. It was rare for women to be unmarried in those times, but Louisa was just happier being a free spinster and paddling her own canoe, as she put it. She wanted other women to know that it was okay to follow your own path. She wanted her readers to know that you could be a strong woman without marrying, that marriage was not the only validation of your life. That's sort of what a lot of people thought at that time. And she, she thought that Joe should not marry. In one of her later books, Work, published in 1873, Louisa writes about the struggles of many women in different professions that she actually worked in throughout her life. These professions included serving as a nurse and working as a governess. The message of the book is clear. It takes all types of women to make the world go round. And so she was writing really about women's struggles. And the scene at the end of the book, I think, is very moving, where all the women are clearly joining forces. Um, and I think she was, she was writing a lot about her own life in that book. Lastly, Mrs. Turnquist spoke of how encouraging Louise's parents were in a time when that type of support was uncommon. She had a serious purpose in her life and her parents were extremely supportive, which was unusual to encourage a young woman the way she was being encouraged. There were people in those days who believed that was absolutely not only wrong in the sense of, you know, unwise, unladylike, you know, but also dangerous for her health. Um, and her family didn't buy that at all. <laughs> so, and they had a very, very difficult life. They, they was struggled financially her entire youth, her childhood and her young adulthood. And I think she was astonished, truly astonished by the success of Little Women, which changed their family finances completely, turned them uh, from struggling with poverty to extremely comfortable, even ultimately wealthy. Louisa, by today's standard, if you take the uh, dollar amount that her income was providing in those days and translate it into today's dollars, 
she was multi-million. Though she may be forgotten to history, Louisa May Alcott is as relevant as ever and still paves the way for so many others, men and women today. Reporting for Concord University, I'm Hannah Gates.